You can see heroes every day going in and out of factory gates. Others, a handful in number, produce enough food to feed all of us and then the world beyond. You meet heroes across a counter, and they're on both sides of that counter. There are entrepreneurs with faith in themselves and faith in an idea who create new jobs, new wealth and opportunity. There are individuals and families who take taxes, support the government, and whose voluntary gifts support church, charity, culture, art, and education. Their patriotism is quiet but deep. Their values sustain our national life. Now, I have used the words they and their in speaking of these heroes. I could say you and your because I'm addressing the heroes of whom I speak, you the citizens of this blessed land. Your dreams, your hopes, your goals are going to be the dreams, the hopes, and the goals of this administration, so help me God. Ronald Reagan knew that heroes walked amongst us every day. In fact, he made a practice of publicly honoring both famous and lesser known citizens as heroes. In the Ronald Reagan Presidential Library Museum's American Heroes Gallery, we recognize heroes from all walks of American life. Permanently etched into these gallery walls are some of the heroes that President Reagan honored over the years, including the 225 Rangers who, on June 6, 1944, jumped off British landing crafts and ran to the cliffs to take out the enemy guns. As President Reagan so eloquently said, These are the boys of Puente Hope. These are the men who took the cliffs. These are the champions who helped free a continent. These are the heroes who helped end a war. Among other heroes, this gallery also pays tribute to the seven astronauts who lost their lives aboard the Space Shuttle Challenger in 1986. As President Reagan stated when addressing the nation, this was the first time astronauts had lost their lives in flight. His remarks that night are still quoted today. The crew of the Space Shuttle Challenger honored us for the manner in which they lived their lives. We will never forget them, nor the last time we saw them this morning, as they prepared for their journey and waved goodbye, and slipped the surly bonds of Earth to touch the face of God. In this gallery, touch a piece of history and honor our nation's heroes when you view an authentic 14-foot structural beam from the North Tower of the World Trade Center. Weighing approximately 1,200 pounds, the beam is imprinted with FDNY 343, representing the 343 heroic firefighters who made the ultimate sacrifice and perished on September 11, 2001. President Reagan once said that we don't have to turn to our history books for heroes. He's right. Since heroic actions occur every day, this gallery also contains a rotating section of displays which honors today's heroes. At the time of this podcast filming, this gallery honors Roy Benavidez and all of our nation's Medal of Honor recipients, Vietnam veteran Tom Riley, and World War II fighter pilot ace Clyde East, who is one of the most highly decorated Air Force pilots ever. He is credited for downing one of only four Nazi aircraft destroyed on D-Day on June 6, 1944. He honored all of us at the Reagan Library every day, as he was also a docent here from 1996 to 2013. His exhibit in our gallery opened in 2014, just a few months before his passing. I've never believed that either God or American heroism is dead. This land of freedom was built and is still being built by men and women who, without chroniclers, without heralds, have brought a warrior's courage to the challenges of everyday life. America is a land of heroes. Thank you for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed this Inside the Reagan Library video. See you soon.